Man, I just wanted to ask, when Cuss Word hit you up on that whole, like, supposedly diss track, what was your first reaction? Well, shit, like, at first, <laughs> like, when I first did the diss, like, I was just feeling, like, real raw. I was just feeling like, okay, this is some hip-hop shit, you know what I mean? I was trying to get my city buzzing and shit like that. Right. And she like, so I, when I dissed him, and then when uh, Cusswood got at me, it was like, hey, like, you know what I mean, where'd you diss him at? And it was like, it's a little fucking little diss in there, like, you know what I mean? But it was only one diss. The whole freestyle wasn't about him. So when, when I heard um, his interview, I was like, oh, shit, this is what I wanted. I wanted motherfuckers to talk, you know what I mean? So that's why I dissed him. You know, I got at K9, and we chopped it, and shit like that. He wasn't really feeling me, but it's all good. But um, it's just music. Really, I'm working on like features. Like, uh, uh, since I ain't got no team, like really nobody like to make music with, I'm trying to reach out to different artists. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be like Lil Wayne ba back in like 2005, 2006, when he was dropping feature after feature after feature after feature. Like you, you, couldn't, you didn't have no choice but to think Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is the greatest, you know what I mean? So like when you keep that momentum and shit like that, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. It's just drop features, as I'm dropping my own singles and shit like that, and music videos, you know what I mean, the whole nine yards, but they got to see my face. They really want to know about you too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like who you're around, you, you mentioned like you be solo dolo. See, I'm not going to say my team, I'm going to say my family, it's a small circle, you know what I mean? Right now, if nobody on my wave right now, I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep grinding, keep grinding, and then I'm going to bring my people up. Once I make it, everybody else will make it. But when you was younger and shit, like, what was some activities, you know what I'm saying, like, you was getting into just in the city, you know what I'm saying, like, shit, man, like, okay, so I grew up, and I stayed in Santa Ana, and then I moved to um, Borderline, Orange, and Santa Ana, so, right now, we, even right now, we on the Borderline, right now, Orange and Santa Ana, right here, this is the Borderline, but, I used to go to, um, to downtown Santa Ana, and back to the um, hood where you grew up. They just get into a whole lot of bullshit. Hollering at bitches on um, downtown. You know me smoking. <coughs> Getting into fights with the homeless. <coughs> All that shit. <coughs> but um, as a young nigga, I was just fucking curious. I just wanted to see the world. And my world was Santa Ana and Orange. That was my world. Oh, yeah. But now I'm trying to see the rest of the world. Get in. And you have mentioned on your Spotify you got like what, 100K plays or? Yeah, 100K right now. Okay. I'm trying to get that shit up to five, then a milli, you dig? Well for one, I got a documentary coming out because Orange County never got its love. And when I say Orange County, I mean Santa Ana, Orange, Anaheim, Garden Grove, you know what I mean, the whole nine, Westminster, I mean the whole nine yards. We don't get our love, but Bay Area, you know what I'm saying, Riverside, you know what I mean, Dago, they yeah. get more love than us. So what I'm trying to do is I'm putting together a film where, the, where I'm going around interviewing different artists to put us on the map. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and we need to talk, talk about that because I want to get you in on that too yeah, as well. Bro. My roots, Santa Ana, you know what I'm saying, 500 block, you know what I'm saying, Wood and Willits, my OGs, those are my roots, my OGs, because I was the type of youngster where the kids would be playing and shit like that, I'd be next to my pops listening to old hood stories, old gangster stories, and I'm just listening, soaking up all this game and shit like that, so that's, that's my roots, that's where I come from. You know what I'm saying? I'm really motherfucking raunchy. I'm fucking dirty. Ain't no filter on my motherfucking. Ain't no cap. You know what I mean? No baseball cap. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? It's straight real. Are you trying to like expand with like your 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 music? Or are you just trying to like make this like hip hop gangster type feel? You know what I'm saying? Like what, what's your vibe on that? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna put out no more like hip hop shit. Like my roots, like Chief Funk. And fucking, uh, and that like, uh, uh, MF Doom type shit. Yeah. I'm putting an end to that. Just for the simple fact that I have a new sound that I'm bringing out. And I got fucking a whole catalog of different shit. So, like, I gave y'all my roots. I gave y'all where I came from. You know what I mean? The hardcore, hip-hop, gangster, G-Funk, mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg, fucking shit with mm -hmm. Free. You know what I mean? Whatever. I gave y'all that. Now I'm gonna give y'all 
who K Nut really is. And I'm a no good ass nigga, but I'm great. And y'all gonna see that, you know what I mean, very soon.